Hello, everyone. Well, we all know the roller coaster, right? The weight going up, the weight going down, and we're going yo-yo diet, and then we go yo-yo exercise. How do we get a sustainable weight loss? That is so important in today's day and age. And well, it's always been important. And that's why we have Lisa with us. She is joining me all the way from Dubai. She is a personal trainer, hip circuit trainer, physiotherapies, Pilates, all the exercise you can think of, different type of exercises all in one. Thank you so much, Lisa, for joining me. Hi, good morning. My name is Lisa. I'm fitness trainer. So today we'll talk about how to maintain your weight because people, they start to do exercises, uh, but they don't know how to maintain. For example, you will achieve your goal you will lose your this 10 kg, for example, you have your goal, you need to lose 10 kg, you achieve, but after you don't know what you can do to maintain your weight, to be in the same at least. So at the first, what you should do, you no need to start uh, to do everything, seven days, full day to do exercises, running, weight exercises, go to all classes, what you have in your gym, you should start gradually, at least twice a week to understand your body. So after, when you feel you need uh, some progress, you can add some day. For example, uh, like first three months, you follow two days in week. After you can add one day, after you can add two days, maximum like four days in a week, you can maintain in your life because we are busy. You cannot every day go to the gym, maybe one, two months you're free, but after it will be difficult. So another thing, you should start gradually your exercises. No need to run fast if you cannot. No need to uh, work with, big weight if you cannot you should start gradually you should feel your body your body told you everything what they need like uh, for example uh, one day you can do weight training full body full body weight training and uh, another day cardio this twice a week when you start after you can change, you can play. For example, you can do in one day half uh, 30 minutes weight training. After weight training, you can do cardio training. Not before. Or uh, you can start cardio when you wake up without any food. So you just wake up, you go to run. <laughs> or walk, fast walking, and after when you're back, after one hour, you can start to eat. It's like uh, just, it works to losing weight. It works to maintain weight sometimes. Uh, sure, you cannot do this all the time. It's like some secret how you can maintain your weight also. So what about exercises? Which kind of exercises you should follow? For ladies, it's better to change every time exercises because our body is different than man body and our goals is different than men girls. Yeah, men, they need to, to make muscle, to make mass. Our goal, uh, goals, mostly it's like to get a tone, to get a shape. So to get this, you need to every time change exercises not every time do the same you can play with weight uh, you can go to different classes like today you attend yoga after uh, one day you can attend some dance class belly dance zumba class after some day you can attend like uh, something like body pump something with weight training so every time you should change your exercises. It's very important for ladies' body. Another thing, this is diet. Because even if you follow exercises protocol, but 
till you eat fast food, you eat sweet, you will never get your result. Never. You should follow your diet. Sometimes, uh, like one day in week, you can do cheating day and uh, you can eat what you want, what you like, even fast food. But sure, when you stop to eat after, even in your cheating day, you feel like you, you don't need this food anymore. Like you need something clean food. So to maintain your weight, you should have exercises and you should have diet and uh, sleep. So if you all do exercises, if you have your properly diet, but you didn't sleep well, sometimes it's also a uh, cost uh, for gain, uh, gain weight because and sleeping, it's like a stress of your body. So to get stress, some people can lose weight and other people, they can gain weight. And also it can cause like, um, you cannot lose your weight because your body every time and stress, you didn't sleep well, you didn't recover. Like all these things can cause gain weight. So. You should think about all these three things. Sleep, the, uh, diet, sorry, and uh, exercise. And when you follow this all three things, you will maintain your weight. You will be, your weight will be stable. Okay. <laughs> Uh, since you you know so much about exercises, I really want to go into a little bit more detail on type of exercises. For example, push ups, pull ups, you know those kind of things. Ah, so, so, yeah. For exercises, it's very important to do like yeah. This is basic exercises like um, uh, squat, lunge, push ups. Is it? Three very important exercises for your body because you will work with all your muscle, all your muscle. So, for example, even if you don't want to go to the gym or you don't have time to go to the gym, you can start to do uh, squats in your home. You can start with 20 times and you can reach 100 times in day. And you will see how your legs will loose and it will look different only to do 100 exercise in day uh, sorry sports in day only 100 so uh what about uh, push-ups uh sure uh it's difficult for ladies to start push-ups like properly push-up you can start with your knees easiest one it's called a pilates push-up and after you can get progress, this is what I told, progress. So uh, again, you can start with 20 in day and after you can reach even 100. After, if you reach 100, you can progress, you can put some weight on your back, you can play. You can do some variation push-ups first, but you should uh, have a goal like, okay, for this month, I need to reach like 30 push-ups, for example. And these 30 push-ups will be for me so easy to do, not like before. Uh, lunges, lunges also, you can do a lot of preparation for lunges, like uh, lunges uh, on the place, walk lunges, uh, jumping lunges. So if you don't have problem uh, with your knees and if you don't have problem with your back, sure. If you have problem, you cannot jump. Yeah. And uh, I like burpees. It's the one of the best exercise. So full body exercise plus uh, cardio all together. 
but not for everyone. So, but you can find also a lot of variation of uh, burpees, like for beginners, and uh, you can follow. So you can do, for example, 20 burpees in day. What it, it help you to work your metabolism faster also. So your blood circulation will be faster. You will feel better. You will feel uh, more uh, energy. You not feel like sleepy every time when you just sit at home, you go to the office, you sit, you go to the car, you sit. After you back home, you feel like you don't have energy to do something because your blood is not circulating. So this is exercise uh, what is not required equipment you can do with body weight. So Pilates exercises also you can do with your body weight. And some of them is easy to follow. Uh, you can um, open YouTube, you can find some Pilates instructors also. So you can follow them if you like to do exercise uh, at home. Or you can go to some special gym or studio, Pilates studio, yoga studio also. Uh, it helps like, because sometimes um, your weight, it's not all, only problem what you eat or you do exercises or no. Sometimes you have some mental problem, maybe some problem in your family. And this is problem also can cause uh, of, uh, your weight gain. It's not only with the food, no. So you need to think like, you need to sit and think what exactly is the reason of your overweight? Is this food or you just sit all your day, do nothing or something changed in your life? Maybe before you was a good, but after something happened, and you start to gain weight. And also it's very important to check your hormones, check your blood test before you start your diet. It's very, very important because some people, uh, some women also, they, they never think about it. But sometimes you have problem with your hormones. Already you have some problem, but you don't know about. And again, you stop to eat, you go six days uh, and week to do exercises, but nothing happened. And you gain more because you have problem with your hormones. So all this together, if you maintain, you will be good. So I, I have to ask you this question. A lot of women, when they reach uh, mid-age, they start putting weight on their uh, belly and, you know, just the midriff uh, portion, right? Yeah, yeah. And so what kind of exercises should they do to get rid of their belly fat, especially the belly part, you know, this part, right? It, it, it happens to most of the women. So it's the first, uh, you should go to the doctor and check your insulin resistance. Because uh, it's the time, maybe you have, problem with your insulin hormone already. This is area, your stomach is the sign. If uh, fat come in, comes only in this area, it's like maybe you have problem with your insulin, maybe. So if no, again, um, like exercises, it's not works uh, in local uh, areas. Exercises, it's work of full your body. You don't you like you cannot lose weight in some place only. If you start to do exercises, you will lose everywhere. But it depends of of the type of your body. You know, they have like pearl type, they have um, apple type. So you should first to know who you are, your type of your body. And after you should understand like, okay, if you are 
apple, you have smaller legs, yeah, and bigger upper body. So you cannot look like pure, even if you're losing weight. So it's also very important to understand your type of your body. To losing, uh, to losing fat from your belly, first, this is diet. This is your food. And second, it's cardio exercises. It's weight exercises. When you do, for example, deadlift, your core, it works. When you do a uh, squat, your core, it works also. All the time, your core engage. All the time when you do exercise. And sure, some exercises like um, from Pilates, special exercises for your core muscle, it will help you. But this muscle, uh, sorry, this exercise is it's help you to make your muscles stronger. But to lose fat, this is the first diet. And more movement, like walking. Two hours, go walk. Do cycling. So, for example, if you have one woman, she's like uh, 120 kg, and she wants to lose her stomach. If you give her only crunches, well, nothing happen. Nothing happen. She needs to follow all these rules about her diet, exercises, check your hormones, all together. Like this. But first, for your belly, it's it's a diet. If you change your food, you you will see how your belly will change, how your shape of your stomach will change. So okay, like that, no, that's very interesting because most of us think that if we do hundred crunches every day, our belly is going to start going in like no, a no. right concave position rather than a convex position. So no, no. Because, no. You need to follow the diet. And uh, uh, so if you do exercises properly, I told you your core muscle every time engage and you don't need to do every time uh, crunches. You already work with your core. Why you need to do extra? To have six packs? Six packs also, it's like, uh, it's about your genetics. Some people have six packs, some people don't have. For some people, it's difficult to get the six packs, for example, because the genetic is different. The shape of the six packs is different for this abdominal muscle. So we should understand it. And for another, for example, you change your diet and you can see the shape of your six packs only to change your food without any exercise. Yeah. So, so it's work like this. All right, well, the diet and the exercise go hand in hand. We can't just over-exercise and keep eating our hamburgers or fries and then nothing's going to happen or, right? <laughs> or, uh, so so it, it, it's our eat nothing. Uh, I mean, in the sense of go on a clean diet, but don't do any exercise. That's also not right. So you have to balance the two and, and change, right? Uh, is that what, what I'm hearing from you? Or you so, can eat eating and then... Uh, make for losing weight, for losing weight, you can lose weight without exercise, just to change your diet, just to change your food, really. So, but exercises, it helps your body to look uh, better, to look younger. So, to prevent some uh, issues like back pain, muscle pain, joint pain. This is what exercises can do it's not only for losing weight every every everyone i think exercise for losing weight i will start to do exercise i will lose my weight weight you are losing when you change your diet but when you combine diet and exercises you can get a good body and good health all together <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. And, uh, and you know, this is actually a basic 
things that we don't follow, you know, we, we, we kind of deviate and then most of us have problems with the weight issues because we don't follow a good diet and, and a, you know, good yeah, exercise. Yeah. That's the problem. So for, uh, for, in order for us to do that, we have to be consistent and continuously keep working on ourselves and, uh, and treat ourselves very well by taking care of our health, our mind, body, and soul, right? That's what we are saying here. Not one thing yeah. good, but take care of your whole self. Yeah, I like nobody can feel your body like you. If you start to feel your body, uh, you will start to understand, like, for example, which food is good for you, which kind of exercise is good for your body. You will feel happy. <laughs> Not tortured like people when they come to the gym, you see their faces like uh, they like uh, they don't want to stay there and the gym, but they come because they need to lose the weight. It's, you should feel happiness when you do exercises, when you eat this food. But this is the, uh, this is about your willpower. So <laughs> you should be strong <laughs> to change your life. All right. Only well, you can you. change your life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, no. Thank you so much. Uh, well, we just bring these sessions on a daily basis for 10 to 15 minutes, just to give an overview of how a holistic lifestyle can help improve your overall well-being. Anything else? Any last things you want to add, Lisa, before I wrap up the session? So uh, I want to say just try to understand your body. When you understand your body, everything will be good. <laughs> All right, well, learn about yourself. Like the way we learn about our emotions, we express our emotions so we know who we are the same way the body is the physical part of it, which we need to understand uh, uh, the mm -hmm. same way and our emotion and express our emotions um, so that you know we are not only taking care of our mental and social well-being, but the physical. So it all has to go hand in hand, right? To, to your point. All right, but... Uh, one more point, like when you work with your body, when you do exercises, when you eat, remember, you work with your brain. Because all our movement, everything comes from our brain. Okay. You need to, yeah, just this, uh, this is a very long subject. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. We can't take the whole day today. So just wanted to thank all of you for supporting us on a daily basis uh, with Lisa. Thank you, thank you so much for, for sharing with us, you know, what is important and not go blind into doing one versus the other. Uh, continue to support us. Our platform is coming out and uh, we will be launching soon. And thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.